Hi, and welcome to the Balancing Act New York Edition. I'm Montel Williams. We're bringing you community stories and introducing you to businesses and people who are making a difference. So let's see who's making a difference right here in your neighborhood. On today's episode, how one local nonprofit is making a massive impact in the community. Tips on buying the perfect diamond for any special occasion. Plus, the importance of live music to make your event unforgettable. And high-end, convenient concierge medical care in the tri-state area. All of this and much more on The Balancing Act. Seeking out a new look? Then check this out. Zion Mady knows diamonds. He's been obsessed with them for decades now. When I was 12 years old, I went to my father's office and my father put diamonds on the table and said, play with them. I said, oh my God, I saw the shine, the sparkle on them. I said, that's what I want to do the rest of my life. And I started playing with the diamonds, playing, playing, playing. And I said, I want to do even much more. I want to make them as a jewelry. And I continued playing and now it's already up after 40 years, I'm doing the same thing. I'm very happy. He owns Daniela Design, a leading New York jewelry and diamond wholesaler. With over 800 independent clients around the country, he has his ring finger on the pulse of the industry. Actually, the entire Mady family does. We love working with each other, you know, through the good and bad sometimes, but uh, we make it work. And it's a lot of fun, you know? The best part is seeing them every day and spending the, t the day with them and just seeing everybody so happy and growing and, and being productive and creativity that's flowing from my kids and my husband. It's just, it's just a great feeling. An estimated 90% of diamonds enter the United States through New York City. And most of that action takes place on a single block in Manhattan called the Diamond District. It's definitely an exciting place. You have so many people doing so many things. It's mind blowing sometimes when I walk past and I think about if I know how much when I walk past our building, I think I know how much happens in just one office in this building how much happens in each of these buildings on this one block. Everything we sell, I can say, Leah can say, I know my parents can say, my brother can say, our salesmen, anyone else in this company, we stand by our product, we believe in our product, we service our product. And that's why the stores trust us, because they know that we, we believe in our product ourselves. I can go on for days, we all can. One of the hardest parts about buying jewelry is the sheer number of potential sellers that you have to choose from. In the Diamond District alone, there are thousands of businesses dedicated to the sale and service of diamonds and jewelry. So how do you know where to look to get the best quality product at a great price? The most important thing, who you buy from. A jewelry business is something is very hard to know if it's a good quality or not. And also another stuff is to have certificate and one of the certificates is leading worldwide called GIA. And if you're buying something expensive and you say to yourself, you know what, with what kind of quality, it's very good to have certificate or appraisal next to it. And, and, and again, it's very important who you're buying from, somebody you trust, who's been for a generation or many years in the business and has a very good name. And, and also those stores, who they're buying from. We're a small business. We are up and coming. We have a huge stock. You don't really have to have a budget, but you need to know what you want, but you could also see it. Many, many stores make it custom for you. So you don't really know what you're getting as a final product. Here, you, you, you can see it. And we work with our customers. We send them pictures. Um, you can ask about our name. You know, they're not getting something. They don't know what they're getting. It's very nice to see a lady walk in the street and a man brings a nice ring and she smiles, it just made my day. So I, I'm thinking about it, I met thousands of thousands of thousands of people their day and, and I'm making people happy, I'm making families happy. For more information about Daniela Design, go to danieladesign.com or check out our website, thebalancingact.com. There's so much incredible work undertaken by nonprofit organizations right on our doorstep. Take a look at this. 
For many New Yorkers, life can be unfair, from disparities in health care to unequal access to affordable housing, quality education, economic opportunity, and continued food insecurity, the needs of tens of thousands of people who are underserved and historically underrepresented continue to go unmet. Well, I was HIV positive and I was living in shelters and I was going from one shelter to another shelter to another shelter and I just became so depressed that um, I was actually suicidal. In Upper Manhattan, there is one organization that has been fighting for the communities of color for over three decades, Harlem United. One of the things that, you know, I think was a driving force for the founders was just making sure that people understood that they were cared for and that they were loved and that they had support and they did have family. Their mission is to provide health care, housing, prevention, and supportive services to those most in need. On the ground, that mission takes many forms. They provide general health care services as well as behavioral, dental, and specialty care. They also have an outreach and testing program for individuals and communities that are at higher risk for HIV AIDS and other infectious diseases. Harlem United was formed in 1988, really at the height of the AIDS epidemic. Um, and it was formed in response to the outcry of the community. And uh, the needs were immense in Harlem and in Upper Manhattan and the South Bronx. People were literally dying on the street. When COVID-19 hit New York, Harlem United jumped into action by providing testing and vaccinations to a community that was being heavily impacted by the pandemic. We know that we're dealing with communities that have been traumatized and during times of trauma, pandemic and uncertainty, people will isolate themselves and there can be a triggering of their trauma. So what we did was we decided to use tele mental health services. We called patients, we use video devices to connect with patients, to have sessions with them, to let them know we hear you, we see you, and we are still there with you. In recent years, Harlem United has also dramatically expanded its housing and social services portfolio. The group offers supportive, transitional, and shelter models for those who lack housing. They also conduct substance use and harm reduction services, connecting people to benefits and entitlements that many don't even know they're qualified for. Everyone says that there's light at the end of the tunnel, but what if you can't find a tunnel? I had no light in my life. I couldn't find the light. And they sat me down and they talked to me, and it was people that cared. You got that right off the back that Harlem United is a place that cares about you. It's not a swipe of the card. They care who you are. They care who I was. Each year, Harlem United provides supportive housing for more than 1,000 previously homeless people, conducts around 24,000 medical visits in its community health centers, and provides more than 15,000 hot meals to New Yorkers in need. It's the community-based organizations like Harlem United that are the organizations that are really going to be able to make the change because we are the ones that understand where the community comes from. We are the ones with the staff who reflect the demographics of the communities that we serve, who understand that the communities we serve need trauma-informed care, need uh, client-centered care, and they understand that they need culturally affirmative care. Everyone loves what we do. Everyone loves the mission. Um, they are strong, they are committed, they are dedicated, um, and I'm proud of every single one of them, and I'm proud to be working with them. For more information about Harlem United, go to harlemunited.org or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Don't touch that dial. You don't want to miss our next story. What do all of the best weddings have in common? They all have amazing music. In fact, it would be nearly impossible to imagine a truly great wedding without incredible music at its core. And that's why the team at Craig Scott Entertainment has been in business for over 35 years. They understand how important music is to the human spirit, and they love to make lasting memories through sound. And they pay it forward to the next generation at the same time. 
Well, the entertainment really sets the tone for the party, and you want people that know what they're doing, because the entertainment can also ruin a party by not playing the right songs at the right time, not understanding the whole flow of what's going on, working with your caterers, with your party planners. It's all a, a, a team that works together to make a great event, and that's how you keep people on the dance floor all night to keep the party going. Scott Horneck had an idea to start his own event entertainment company while he was working halfway around the world on a cruise ship. He called his best friend and now business partner, Nick DeLosa. Decades later, having performed at thousands of weddings and special events, his company is one of the most sought after acts in the New York area. I think that special sauce is we all have this inner desire to exceed your expectations. There is just something special about having professionals perform during a wedding. They can take the event to an entirely different level. And the team at Craig Scott Entertainment are some of the most talented musicians around. We bring a lot of different acts to, to the table, but the Jersey Boys one in particular, we bring the guys who were in the show. The fact that they're deciding to have live music actually happen in the moment, it's magical every time. The team also understands how important it is to give back. That's why they are paying it forward and providing workshops for aspiring Broadway stars. Having the opportunity as a young artist to meet somebody who worked on Broadway would have been very beneficial. So Dom and I thought, why don't we put something together with the help of Scott and let's create these workshops to kind of foster young artists in the, the New Jersey, New York area. So what are some tips for couples to use when picking between wedding entertainment options? Do your homework, read reviews, go online. Also, I would say where you're having your reception, ask them who they like working with. You want it to be a family and a, and a close-knit team at your wedding. That's going to be a great party then. What we could bring to them is some kind of joy, some kind of passion, some kind of... Some memory. Memory, you yeah. know, because that's what life is all about. You know what they say, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And that's exactly how I feel. For more information about Craig Scott Entertainment, go to craigscott.com or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We all know how important staying healthy is. Check out our next story. The healthcare industry is incredibly fast paced. Most times when you visit the doctor's office, you're sitting in a waiting room for an hour and then only get five minutes with the doctor. It's time for something different. Concierge medicine, I like to think of it as a, a form of uh, orientation for a relationship between a patient, an individual, uh, and their physician, their personal physician. Uh, it is the way of engaging that is special, that defines what concierge medicine is all about. It's a direct connection. Expanding on that bond, which is one of the most sacred bonds we have as individuals, as human beings, is with our caregivers, with our physicians. Through their concierge approach, Castle Conley Private Health Partners is changing the way healthcare is handled. Castle Conley uh, Private Health Partners was started by myself and uh, John Conley. Uh, Dr. John Conley is the former president of New York Medical College, as well as the co-founder, along with John Castle, of Castle Conley Medical Limited. Castle Conley Medical uh, is known as the, frankly, the world's, but particularly in the United States, the nation's preeminent uh, agency for selecting top physicians. We decided it made a lot of sense um, for us to uh, connect together and establish Castle Conley Private Health Partners. We believe to be the most complete um, and uh, expansive uh, concierge uh, deliverable in the uh, concierge space. The reason why I would recommend concierge medicine is that traditional medicine um, is very uh, much focused on volume of, of patients and leaves very little time to detail care. Concierge medicine allows you to uh, have time to spend with the patient, really get to know them, really know a lot about the, uh, their health, and that really does change the outcome. In concierge medicine, your practice panel is smaller, so you have more time to be with patients and deliver their care and, and investigate and be curious together. And um, I, I don't think it's that concierge medicine invented some new technology. I think it's old technology. It's just 
the old technology plus time and then you do what you want with it. One thing that the pandemic has highlighted is the need for that really close patient-doctor relationship. The pandemic has highlighted the need for a doctor you can call upon in a situation. And now with the healthcare crisis, and that has upended the whole healthcare system, it is good to have a doctor who you can connect with 24-7. With a CCPHP concierge practice, it's all about your doctor, your health, your way. The way that concierge medicine impacts the utilization of outside services um, and therefore um, lowers uh, ultimate cost, um, not only to society and the system, but also, of course, to the patient um, and even to payers in, in our collaborative model. Uh, the reason is this, it's quite simple. When you have a more engaged primary care relationship um, with your doctor, your doctor is able to take more time with you, work through the process more carefully with you, and avoid referring you off to a specialist when it isn't necessary. I think the doctor-patient relationship is the central relationship in medicine. Your central reason for being there is taking care of people, and so that is the crux of what we do. And again, when you have more time to attend to that, I think it enriches the experience for the patient and for the doctor. It's more satisfying, there's more meaning, I think. For more information, visit their website, ccphp.net, or check out our website, thebalancingact.com. This next story will certainly help you with your finances. Time to learn more about protecting your greatest investment. Financial planning can be scary. Most people don't even know where to start. It's time to begin thinking about your financials and start planning for the future. Everyone should plan for the present and from the future. We should learn from the past. So you need to understand what your needs are going forward, okay? What your needs are currently. Sometimes that's not so easy, okay? But you need to have a professional get involved and take care of that. Besides just making sure that your cash flow is in order, you need to make sure you have a specific tax plan. A lot of people do not plan for taxes. A lot of people just get salaries. They pay their taxes and they call it a day. We're a little different here. For over 30 years, Adeptus has helped thousands of individuals and businesses with all of their financial needs, from accounting to tax services and more. Adeptus is a full service accounting firm. I founded it with a partner over 30 years ago. We wanted to establish a firm that was different than the firms that are out there now. I have significant experience in the accounting business. I have been a CFO of a private company, so I have sat on the other side of the table. So I understand what clients need and what they want to need. We're not the typical green eye shade accounting firm. We make sure that we are creative. We understand what the clients want. Okay, and we try to create strategies which help them. We have a full service audit department. We do over 200 certified audits. We're a peer reviewed firm with a pass rating, which means we are top notch. And we're recognized by the NASDAQ and the SEC. We're very communicatable. We do not bill you for questions. We do not bill you for telephone calls. We want you to do that so we get it right the first time and make sure that everything is right. Okay, we're very creative. and We make sure that there is a tax plan in order to save them the most money. Adeptus can help anyone start organizing their financials. They offer large company services with a small company feel. We are a smaller firm considering the size of some of these other firms out there, but we practice big. We want to be... Uh, the organization we are today, our culture is great, our chemistry is great. Um, we're very, very fond of one another. We get together and see each other's families, so that way we know who's on the other side of the computer screen, the other side of the telephone, the other side of, of whatever device you're using. It's all about the customer at Adeptus. That's why each team member spends time getting to know you and your financial needs. We look to be creative and guide you in the right direction. And we take very good care of our clients. The clients are the lifeblood of the business. So if you don't take care of the clients, you're not gonna have any business. We service their needs, we make sure they're taken care of, and we have a good set of people, and that makes for a good organization. But a lot of accountants are the guys who tell you what you can't do. We're the guys who tell you what you can do. For more information on Adeptus and their services, visit their website, adeptuscpas.com, or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. <music> 
The hard work nonprofits put in to change lives is remarkable. Take a look at this. Buried in between the different forms of muscular dystrophy lays a disorder that affects one out of every 3,500 boys. It's important to know what to look for and how to cope with the diagnosis. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is the leading fatal genetic childhood disease that affects one in 3,500 boys worldwide. It's caused by a mutation in the dystrophin gene, which is on the X chromosome. It affects uh, all of the muscles in the body and ultimately the heart. Um, it, it's a progressive muscle disease that robs the boys of their independence. Boys will lose the ability to walk between the ages of 10 and 13 years old. He, at the age of four and a half, was having leg pains running around the playground at school. Um, you know, he'd come to us and just kind of want to sit down, oh, my calf hurts. Initially, we thought just growing pains. Um, brought him to the pediatrician after several occasions of him complaining. She ran some tests on him, um, one of which was his CK level, and that was kind of indicative at the time, as soon as it came back, that he did have muscular dystrophy. To know that the dreams that I had for my son were almost taken away, because of the disease, because of the timeline, the prognosis. After Michael's diagnosis, Robert and Teresa started an organization to share their knowledge and donate their time to others in the same situation. So when Michael was diagnosed, we traveled the country to seek out different doctors um, for the best medical advice. And one thing that we found is that um, this disease lacked a lot of uh, awareness and funding. You know, we've raised over $1.7 million and directed that to research to help save all of the boys with this disorder. In addition, we've helped um, boys and men with medical equipment to help better their lives. Michael's cause right now is 100% volunteer. Um, friends, family, that's really the basis of our committee. I'm very proud to be part of his family, be part of Michael's cause because, I mean, one, we're known. We're known everywhere in Staten Island. I mean, everyone knows Michael's cause. And it's just to be part of that, it's very heartwarming. It feels it's very special. Our family's unique. It also brings hope towards other people that, you know, as we see this family right here, they're fighting. They're fighting for their, one of their family members, and that's, that shows true family right there. That's love. Because of Michael's cause, I've been able to meet kids that go through the same thing that I go through each day. For over 10 years, the Capolongo family has been learning and educating others about Duchenne muscular dystrophy. What does the future hold for Michael and others dealing with DMD? So the landscape of this disease is definitely changing. Big pharmaceutical companies are now making drugs to help all of the boys with this disease. There are now drugs in clinical trials that are showing that they're really helping. Put a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort into what we've done to save our son's life and the many others that have this disease and, and, and are suffering right now. We want to do the best that we can, not only for Michael, but for everybody else. So we as a family have learned that life is a very precious thing. You have to take it one day at a time. You know, you have to keep it right here and right now. I'm proud to be the face behind Michael's cause and be in a position to help others. To learn more about Duchenne muscular dystrophy and how you can help, visit michaelscause.org or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We love to keep up with the latest fashion trends. And on The Balancing Act, let's see what's currently the talk of the town. Did you know that one of the most popular fabrics used in fashion is denim? Jeans are considered one of the most famous and versatile pieces of clothing ever created. But did you know that most women are wearing the wrong size jeans? Here's how to get it right. Fashion industry titans have been dictating sizes and standards for far too long. Other companies will develop a product line that expect a woman to fit directly into their size. But there's a company that's breaking stereotypes by focusing on creating tailored fits for every shape and size. Our goal here at 1822 Denim is to celebrate each woman's size and shape, to make them feel that each product is tailored specifically for them. We saw an absence of good quality and fit in the market. So our goal here was to develop a line of product that was comfortable, affordable, and kind to our planet. The high quality denim designed to be stretchy enough to give you flexibility, an amazing personalized approach, and affordable pricing are some of the features that make this company unique. 
we're different than our competitors. We design our products to each customer's needs. We spent a lot of time and technology to develop our fabrics to mold to each customer's shape and size. They use a new 3D technology that allows women to get exactly the right fit needed. 3D technology is a very simple and convenient process. The customer snaps two pictures from different angles, submits them through the program, and the program recommends a size and style that is best fit for that customer. This incredible technology will measure and recommend you the best product. We have styles that cover all different size ranges and age groups and body types. We have maternity product, plus size product, Missy product, petites, and junior contemporary. And what we're most known for is our butter denim line of product. Butter denim is our softest, form-fitting, affordable, comfortable product. One of the things I love most about our product is its high level of durability while still providing a level of softness and comfort. 1822 denim is the perfect example of how you don't need to pay high prices for a well-made product. We use many different social media platforms along with surveys to pay attention to our customers' needs. We analyze data, we pay attention to the feedback, and make changes where necessary. Most of the feedback that we get is extremely positive. Love this jean, best fitting jean I ever purchased. Didn't know what to expect when I first looked at it, and it was the greatest investment that we, I've ever made. Their impact also stretches into the wider community, partnering with foundations like the Food Bank of New York City, Meals on Wheels, No Kid Hungry, Best Friend Animal Society, and finding a way to reduce their imprint on the environment. One of the company's main objectives is also to focus on sustainability. By implementing 3D technology with our product lines, we are able to cut down on the amount of returns, which in turn eliminates waste. Another way we are reducing the carbon footprint is by offering a collection of denim that is called Redenim. This product is made from primarily from recycled denim and plastics. To find out more about how to tailor your jeans to your unique size, visit 1822denim.com and of course visit our website, thebalancingact.com. Thanks so much for joining us on this local edition of The Balancing Act. We'll see you next time.